strange winter, I think. Uh, yes, it, and you know, we are still well below average in snowfall for Buffalo for the season, even though we have had some cold periods. Uh, one very hard hit in some of the Buffalo South towns, but the North towns have come up high and dry. Niagara County, very little snow and uh, not a whole lot coming this week, even though Arctic air will be coming back after a notable wet warm up. We made thermal progress today. The average high this time of the year is now up to 32. First time the statistical average starts to increase is on February 5th. And we made it to 33, just 30 at Ole on yesterday. Our high was 27, which was seasonably cold. In other words, we're doing better than we were yesterday. In the meantime, across the lower 48, no exceptionally cold air anywhere until you get way up to the, in fact, outside of the lower 48, up to some of the maritime provinces, Winnipeg, and even that's not that exceptional for them. 25 in Minneapolis, good deal chillier than it was yesterday. But yesterday we were eight degrees warmer than Friday at six o'clock, and today we're six degrees warmer than yesterday at six o'clock, 10 degrees warmer in Dunkirk. And we check out the current satellite and radar imagery. There is a weak cold front that will be coming through behind it. The winds will go from that west southwest flow we've had to a northwest flow, and that's setting up some snow showers that will be making a return appearance this evening. But looking at seven super Doppler, there's not much to them. There are some more coming in off Lake Huron, and most of these snow showers look like they're going to be crossing the Niagara frontier. Nothing shovelable there. We take a look at our hour by hour forecast by late this evening and in the pre dawn hours, whatever snow showers we have are just about dead and gone. And then tomorrow, just pretty quiet, mostly cloudy again, lighter winds, but very late tomorrow night toward the pre dawn hours. That could be a, a tricky period. There could be a period of light sleet and freezing rain as the air starts to warm and it's uh, chilly only at the surface, but that will quickly turn to just plain rain and a pretty good amount of it on Tuesday. Temperatures on a southerly flow during the afternoon get into the mid 40s late in the day around Buffalo after starting in the low 30s. More rain at night, a cold front goes by, but behind that front, uh, there isn't going to be that much of a change over to snow, even as temperatures start to tumble again. Dry air in place until later on Wednesday. Most of the lake effect late Wednesday and Thursday will be falling on the hills again, but not nearly enough to do any good for the snowmobile trails. Ski resorts? Yes, good snowmaking conditions. 24 and overnight low, that's above average. Some evening snow showers redeveloping over the next few hours. Winds subsiding to 10 miles an hour tomorrow, not bad. A high of 34, mostly cloudy, less wind in the air. And then way after midnight tomorrow night, a light mix will approach from the south. And then on Tuesday, that light mix, if it's still around for the morning commute, shouldn't really cause any big problems near Lake Erie for the commute. Quickly turning to rain, widespread rain. We warmed to 39 by midday and 46 late in the afternoon. Again, the average high is a lot chillier than that. We look at the seven day forecast. We start at dawn at 37 on Wednesday, but we'll be down to the low 20s by Wednesday evening and into the teens by Thursday morning. Thursday is the coldest day of the week, 22. Some unimpressive lake effect snow over the hills at times on Thursday. Friday, we're back up to 31 with a few uh, flurries, nothing big there. And then we warm back to the low 40s again next weekend, which looks to be another windy weekend ahead of more Arctic air early the next week. So it is a roller coaster, but no protracted cold spells in immediate sight. It has been strange. Yes, strange. But I'm not complaining. One thing I am complaining about, Tom Brady in the Super Bowl again. <laughs> Why does this always a happen? A roller coaster of emotions up here to